Roger Fenton. Roger Fenton was born in Lancashire on March twenty-eight in eighteen nineteen. He was a pioneering British photographer, one of the first war photographers, and known for his Crimean War photos. Before taking up the camera, he studied law in London and painting in Paris. In eighteen thirty-eight, Fenton went to the University of Oxford, where he graduated in eighteen fourteen. In eighteen forty-one, he began to read law at University College. Obviously, he does not have the talent to learn law because he spent more than seven years and finally get a lawyer permit. He traveled to Russia in eighteen fifty-two and photographed the landmark of Kiev and Moscow. He founded the Photographic Society in eighteen fifty-three and it is later signed the Royal Photographic Society. He was appointed the first official photographer of the British Museum in 1854, and the most special thing for him is he achieved the Westphal recognition for his photo of the Crimean War in 1855. Here are some photos shooten by Fenton. And three hundred and fifty of his images are now collected in Shoulder of War. Roger Fenton's photographers of the Crimean Act in eighteen fifty-five, by Sophie Gordon's with contribution by Louis Pearson. Fenton's most widely spare acclaimed can in eighteen fifty-five, with photos of the Crimean War, a conflict in which British, French. Certain era and Turkish troops battled Russia's attempt to expand its influences into European territory of the Ottoman Empire. Fenton was commissioned by the Manchester published Thomas Agnew and Son to travel to the Crimea and document the war, and his mission was encouraged by the government. Which hoped that his photo will reach a sure a wide public. Fintern's extensive documentation of the war, the first such use of the photographer, included the pictures of the port of the Balalava, the canvas, the terrains of battle, and the portraits of officers, soldier, and support staff of the various Allied army. Due to the size of his photographer's equipment, Fenton was limited in his choice of topics, because the photography materials of his time need longer exposures. He was only able to produce pictures of stationary objects. Mostly post pictures, he avoided making pictures of death, injured, or mutilated soldiers. Despite summer's high temperature. Breaking several ribs in the fall, suffer from the cholera road, and also becoming depressed at the carnage he saw at Sevastopol. In all, Fenton managed to make over 350 usable large format negatives. An exhibition of 312 prints was soon on show in London, and at various places across the nation in the months that followed. Fenton also showed them to Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Nevertheless, sale was not as good as expected. In 1862, after a final series of photos, Fenton sold his equipment and negative, resigned from the Royal Photographic Society, and returned to his bar. After the week-long illness, he died in August 8 in 1869 at his home. And he was only fifty years old. Like many later world photographers, Mr. Fenton left the battlefield affected by the death he had witnessed. He might have been the first world photographer who turned his back on the craft, but he's certainly not the last. <laughs>